It was a quiet Saturday evening, the kind where the hum of everyday life filled the air and the mundane tasks of a single mother seemed to stretch on endlessly. My name is Chloe, and I had always thought I knew my teenage son Matthew inside and out. He was a good kid, quiet and introverted, with a penchant for video games and science fiction. On that fateful evening, as I was tidying up the house, I stumbled upon something that would change our lives forever. I had been searching for a misplaced book in Matthew's room when I opened his closet door and, amidst the clutter of clothes, I saw something that I wasn't prepared for. There, hidden among his neatly hung shirts and jackets, was a row of dresses. Beautiful, feminine dresses in various colors and styles. At first, I couldn't comprehend what I was seeing. It was like a secret world had been unveiled right before my eyes, and I was the unsuspecting visitor. My initial reaction was shock and confusion. I had never known Matthew to show any interest in cross-dressing, and the revelation was as unexpected as it was perplexing. I blinked at the dresses, wondering how they had found their way into my son's closet. As I stood there, lost in thought, I suddenly heard the sound of approaching footsteps. Panic rushed through me, and I quickly closed the closet door, praying that Matthew hadn't seen me. I turned to find him standing in the doorway, a bewildered expression on his face. Mom, he stammered, his voice trembling with nervousness. I can explain. I could see the fear in his eyes, and my motherly instincts kicked in. In that moment, I knew that I needed to be there for my son, no matter what secrets he held. I motioned for him to sit on his bed, and I took a seat beside him. Matthew took a deep breath and finally confessed. Mom, I've been keeping a secret. I like to cross-dress. I like to wear dresses and makeup. I'm not like the other guys, and I didn't know how to tell you. His words hung in the air, and the room felt heavy with the weight of his revelation. I reached out and took his hand, giving it a reassuring squeeze. In that moment, I made a choice, a choice to support my son no matter what, and I could see the relief in his eyes as he realized that his secret was safe with me. After Matthew's confession, I needed a moment to process the whirlwind of emotions that had taken over my thoughts. The initial shock of discovering his secret cross-dressing desire had given way to a sea of questions and uncertainties. But one thing was clear. My love for my son would guide me through this unexpected journey. I watched as Matthew's anxious eyes followed my every move, searching for my reaction. His vulnerability was a stark reminder of how much he had struggled with this hidden side of himself. As a mother, my instinct was to protect him and provide the safe space he needed. I took a deep breath and reached out to gently cup his face feeling the warmth of his skin under my touch. Matthew, I began, my voice calm and soothing. I want you to know that I love you no matter what. You are my son, and nothing will ever change that. Tears welled up in Matthew's eyes, and he nodded, his voice choked with emotion. Thank you, Mom, I continued. We all have our unique paths, our individual journeys to self-discovery. And if this is a part of who you are, then I want to support you in exploring it. You don't have to go through this alone. Matthew's gratitude was palpable as he wiped away his tears. It was a pivotal moment in our relationship, one that showed him that his mother was someone he could trust and confide in. With a gentle smile, I looked into Matthew's eyes, my voice filled with empathy. Matthew, I can see that this is a part of who you are, and I want to help you explore and understand your feelings better. You don't have to go through this alone. We can do it together. He gazed back at me, gratitude shining in his eyes. Mom, you have no idea how much this means to me. The warmth of the moment inspired an idea. I suggested, what if we take a step further, a small but significant one? We could have a feminization makeover. It might help you understand your feelings and express yourself more comfortably. Matthew looked apprehensive a mix of excitement and anxiety playing across his face. I've never thought about it like that, Mom, but I'm willing to try. I could see the bravery in my son's eyes, and it filled me with pride. With Matthew's eager consent, our journey into the world of femininity had officially begun. 
I wanted to make the experience as comfortable and enjoyable as possible for my son, and that started with a beautiful transformation. I reached for the blonde wig that I had carefully chosen. It had cascading waves that would frame his face and make him feel like a true Madison. As I placed the wig on Matthew's head, I couldn't help but admire how the hair complemented his features, giving him a stunning and delicate appearance. You look absolutely beautiful, Madison, I told him with a smile. The name Madison had popped into my mind, and it felt like a perfect fit for him. Matthew's eyes lit up at the suggestion, and he nodded in agreement. Madison, I love it, Mom. As I began the makeover process, I took a deep breath, wanting to ensure that Madison felt comfortable every step of the way. We started with makeup techniques, and I guided him through the process of enhancing his natural features. I could see the mixture of emotions in his eyes, excitement, apprehension, and most importantly, a newfound sense of self-discovery. It was a delicate process, one that required patience and a gentle touch. But as Madison looked into the mirror and saw the reflection of the beautiful woman emerging before him, a sense of empowerment washed over him. It was a moment of transformation, not just in appearance, but in his understanding of self. With each step of the makeover, Madison's confidence grew. He was taking the first bold strides on this remarkable journey of self-acceptance and self-expression. And I was right there beside him, proud to be his guide, his support, and his mother. I decided it was time to introduce Madison to a new aspect of femininity. I reached for the epilator and explained how women used it to achieve the coveted silky smooth skin. There was a mixture of curiosity and apprehension in Madison's eyes, but his trust in me allowed him to take the leap. As he used the epilator for the first time, there was a moment of discomfort. Madison winced, but he was determined to experience the sensation of smooth skin that he had always admired. With each pass of the epilator, he grew more accustomed to the feeling, and soon he began to appreciate the results. I love how smooth it feels, Madison confessed with a smile. The epilator was more than just a beauty tool. It was a symbol of Madison's journey toward self-acceptance and self-expression, it represented his courage to explore his identity and embrace every aspect of himself. To mark our progress, I handed him a pair of pantyhose. As he slipped them on, I watched his face light up with delight. The delicate fabric against his skin seemed to resonate with his feminine side, and it was a beautiful reminder of the journey we were on together. We shared a moment of happiness knowing that each step was bringing Madison closer to becoming the person he had always longed to be. Our journey was filled with challenges, but with love, acceptance, and unwavering support, we were conquering them side by side. Madison's journey into self-discovery was a testament to his courage and determination. With each step we took on this remarkable path, he grew more confident and self-assured. I was honored to be his guide and support, helping him embrace his true self. One day, Madison expressed a desire to take his transformation a step further. He longed to experience the feeling of having feminine curves, and I was there to support his wishes. With that in mind, I handed him breast enhancers and a matching bra. Madison carefully placed the enhancers into the bra, adjusting it to fit his body perfectly. As he looked at himself in the mirror, I could see the happiness and fulfillment in his eyes. The enhancers provided a physical connection to the feminine side of himself that he had always longed to explore. You look stunning, Madison, I told him with a warm smile. Madison's smile mirrored the joy and gratitude he felt in that moment. The addition of enhancers was not just a physical change, it was a representation of his growing self-acceptance and courage to explore his true identity. With the enhancers in place, Madison was taking bold strides on his journey towards embracing the woman within. I was proud to be his guide, his support, and his mother, and I knew that our bond was growing stronger with each step we took together. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.